give me the outlook of the banking sector in India at the moment. We do see that bad loan ratio, 16.6%. It's among the highest in some of the major economies in the world. What does that tell you about the health of the sector at the moment? Well, um, we did have a problem. We did have a problem. The problem was largely, uh, you know, uh, problem of statutory clearances coming in, problem of the external environment uh, being very adverse to the banking situation. But I sincerely feel that for the steps that have been taken by the government and the steps taken by the public sector banking community by themselves, we are edging our way out of the problem. And we hope that the prob biggest problem of stressed assets that we carry now we will soon be able to resolve the problem in the course of a few months to come in future. Yeah, I just speak with the State Bank of India Chairman uh, Eridati Bhattacharya, and she was saying she actually expects bad loans to more bad loans to sour uh, because of the weaker economic growth. Now that growth has slowed of late, uh, do you think that this is a problem that is going to get worse before it gets better? And are banks doing enough to tackle this issue? See, one very good thing that uh, we've done, been able to do, is that with the active assistance of the central bank, which is the Reserve Bank of India, the problem of recognition of stress that these banks carry on their balance sheets has been able to be recognized. We have more or less a final figure about the kind of stress that we carry. Now the issue is how we can resolve it and as and when the economy begins to pick up. We are still clocking about 7% growth, but as and when it begins to pick up, we will be able to make available working capital of the kind that will be required. And the government has taken some very effective steps. And hopefully, in the very near future, we would be able to more or less overcome this problem. Uh, it's interesting because we, we talk about capital buffers because Fitch Ratings is actually estimating that uh, the Indian lenders, they're going to need uh, about $90 billion in additional capital just to meet those Basel III targets by 2019. The government, on the other hand, has announced $2 billion, which is quite a sizable gap. How is the Indian Bank's uh, board going to address an issue and address See, this? Banks have, uh, government has announced this as the first tranche. Government is committed to ensuring that as t in terms of regulatory capital, the amount that is required, government will be in a position to be able to provide. But more importantly, there are other avenues also which can be deployed to shore up capital. There could be a rights issue. There could be other mezzanine types of capital which could be introduced to ensure that the regulatory amount that is required to conform to the Basel uh, norms will be fulfilled. Does that mean, does that include raising your bad loan buffers as well? I mean, to let these banks have a little bit more flexibility and pricing power if, in fact, they need to dispose of the debt? See, to, to a large extent, banks have been given that facility, that discretion. The bank's board has been given the facility, and that's why the government and the Reserve Bank were fairly uh, upfront in creating what is known as the Oversight Committee which has been created, which means that if the banks which are in a syndicate or have a joint lending forum, they have a f problem in agreeing amongst themselves, they take the res process of resolution to the oversight committee. And once it's seen by the oversight committee, which means the resolution process, the procedures have been followed, the oversight committee then clears it. It becomes easier for the concerned bank boards then to accept or approve that process of maybe a, 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 a restructuring or maybe a haircut or maybe a one-time settlement, whatever it is, then the, the board takes the decision. Does India need a bad bank? I mean, we heard this from the RBI, the government saying that they need some kind of state fund manager to, to fix some of this stressed assets. What's your take on that? Uh, see, there has been a lot of debate around creation of a bad bank. And the debate has been, number one, whether we do need a bad bank at all. Number two, if the, we create that bad bank, will it be in the public sector? Will it be in the private sector? But more importantly, we've tried to ensure that if we do create a bad bank, that bad bank will be capable of being able to resolve the assets which are transferred to it. Whether the economy has the appetite to do it, whether there are people who will be able to manage those, those assets, or there are capital people with amount of capital who are willing to come and invest in those things. And those are the things which are being assessed by government. I guess very soon a decision will be forthcoming. Uh, Vino, before I let you go, is one question when it comes to consolidation. We have 27 state-controlled banks in India. Six mergers, or six are underway in terms of consolidation. Uh, do we need more? Well, uh, I think government has taken a very good step in consolidating the State Bank of India with its as associates. There were a whole lot of them and a consolidated entity will be far more healthier in a large number of ways. Yes, 
there we do face a question where there are a large number of smaller banks which probably by themselves will not be able to go forward with the kind of help that will be required on their balance sheets. So there is a case for consolidation. We are looking at it very closely mm -hmm. and as far as the government intent is concerned, the government has shown its intent to consolidate by taking up the SPI issue.